Hi everyone, myself Jyoti Prasad from RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss about telemetry and tracking command. As we discussed in earlier in satellite communication, we have discussed about different things about uh, sun transit outrage, all those things. So here, how the tele telemetry tracking and command system is going to come into effective usage. What is the purpose of that one? We are going to check here. How important? Moreover, this is important for the uh, survival of the satellite also. Here, in this particular picture, we have shown that the satellite is there and it is uh, corresponding to the satellite TTC and M antenna. So, here we have two antennas, receiving antenna and transmitting antenna. The receiving antenna will receive the signals from the satellite and it will te telemetry. It will the received signal will be given to telemetry receiver and tracking system. What are these uh, telemetry? What is meant by tracking system? So the, actually, these two things will be uh, it, it going to be work in a pair, like a pair. And how the telemetry data? Telemetry data means whatever the tabulated data, whatever the received tabulated data, it has been, it has to be processed. It has to be partic particulated. So that will be done by data processor. So tracking system is used to track for how, how the satellite is uh, orbiting around the earth uh, is it in the particular position or the, it is deviating far behind that yeah, that data can be analyzed by tracking system and whatever the data processed here is given to add attitude control and orbit control processor so altitude uh, all these controls uh, how how important how how the satellite is rotating around the Earth in the geostationary orbit, it depends upon all these parameters. So in the same way, whatever you are receiving, the instructions we will give to the satellite through transmit antenna. According to the things whatever we have received, processed, what commands we need to give, that will be given by controller to command transist transmitter. This command transmitter will uplink, will uplink or up uplink the signal instructions commands to the satellite through transmit antenna so this is a detail diagram so first first of all what is meant by telemetry telemetry or telemetering telemetering nothing but tabulating uh, telemetry or telemetering function could be interpreted as measurement at a distance so how we are going to measure the distance how how far it is rotating is it in the correct position rotating? Is, is it rotating a correct position in the geostationary orbit or not? Uh, those, those type of things will be. So like we discussed earlier, when the satellite is rotating in geostationary orbit, lot of influencing factors will be there. Lot of disturbances will be there. Is the position of the particular satellite is shifted? That, then that can be telemetry. Uh, using telemetry tracking, we should be able to recognize and we should give a command to make it right. So this is a, like a feedback feedback system. Specifically, it refers to overall operation of generating an electrical signal proportional to quantity being measured. So how the quantity, electrical quantities like current, voltage, whatever the particular uh, consumption of in each and every electronic device on the particular electronics device on the particular satellite consuming, whatever the fuel levels, all those things will be telemetry, tele telemetering. Telemetering means that things will be measured and encoded and transmitting this to distant station. That won't be sent in the same same data as it is. It will be encoded, encoded into a particular digital communication, digital technique, using digital technique. And that encoded information will be transmitted to distant station. I mean geo station, uh, earth station, earth station. So which for satellite is one of the earth stations. So it will send to the, like we discussed in the, picture in the earlier slide it will send send to the receiver antenna in the um, earth station thereby what are all the things comes under telemetry attitude inter altitude information such as obtained from sun earth sensors the second type of information environmental information such as magnetic field intensity direction what is the direction of satellite frequency of meteorite impact all these things will be environmental information. Spacecraft information. What are the spacecraft? Whatever the spacecraft information is nothing but temperature in and around the satellite, power supply voltage, whatever the operating, and the stored fuel, fuel pressure, whatever the stored fuel pressure, all these things will be metered. 
மீட்டர்து ஆர் மானிட்டர்து ஓகே ஸோ தீஸ் திங்ஸ் ஷுட் பி டேக்கன் கேர் பை டைம் டு டைம் ஷுட் பி கம் ஃப்ரம் த சேட்டிலைட் டு டெலிமெட்ரி சிஸ்டம் த்ரூ எ ரிசீவிங் ஆன்டனா then the data will be processed checked whether it is in a proper proportionate or proportionate or not if any deviation we should again send back through command system so we should have certain frequency designated for international agreement of satellite tel- telemetry transmissions so certain set of frequency only we should able to use that one that we, that is governed by international uh, international satellites so several hundreds of sensors are located on a satellite to monitor pressure like we discussed in previous slide fuel tanks voltage current in power conditioning unit current drawn by each sub system each sub system and critical voltages current in communication electronics all this data will be metered using telemetry system so if any temperature of any sub systems are beyond that beyond that particular predetermined limits then So th- th- that will be monitored and alerted by the sensors telemetry data are digitized what we said uh, they will send the data through by code encoding encryption so how they are going to digitize means by using phase shift keying of low power telemetry carrier using time division modulation techniques tdm techniques time division modulation techniques using phase shift keying of low power telemetry this that data will be encoded and sent to the receiving antenna so uh, if any peter many uh, vital parameters are beyond the limits or beyond the predetermined values it will be allowable it will be allowable to do a alert so number of techniques can be used to determine current orbit of the satellite current orbit means what what the position of the satellite in the at the orbit so velocity acceleration sensors on satellite can used to establish change of orbit so if, if the it rotates the satellite rotates in a particular particular velocity and acceleration so is is it beyond our position expected position the those type of data will be integrated through this telemetry tracking system so telemetry and command what we said telemetry and command telemetry is a downlink uh, command will be the uplink so likewise uh, they will get the data from this through receiving antenna telemetry and we will track that one and we will give a command through uplink uh, through the transmitting antenna so these are complementary functions one and both are complementary functions so this telemetry subsystem transmit information about satellite to earth station from their satellite to earth station while command system like i sub- said subsystem or command subsystem receives command signals from earth station processed uh, tracking data processed and that earth station will upload that one to telemeter the information to the satellite through a tra- transmitting antenna the su- commands like we said the command sub system demodulates demodulates that encrypted data will be demodulates if necessary decodes command signal and routes that appropriate equipment needed to execute necessary action is the, the direction has to be changed or the pressure levels are high means it has to be compensated like that particular action has to be necessary action has to be taken and one more important point to is uh, to prevent unauthorization commands so if any unauthorization commands is received that has to be decoded when we decode it if it is a correct information sent by the geo sta- uh, earth station then only the, if the decoded information is correct then it has to respond unauthorized commands it should not respond so the command signal are often encrypted for that purpose if any other other unauthorized commands coming uh, we should not respond to that so that first we will decode that if it is correct encrypted format in the encrypted format it will respond or else it will ignore tracking of satellite is accomplished by having satellite transmit beacon signals whichever received at telemetry tracking command at the station so once uh, once it is on the station the position of geostationary satellite will tend to shift as a res- result of various disturbing forces like we discussed sun transit outage or some other various factors are there because of that the geostationary satellite will tend to shift the direction or something uh, the altitude and all those things if, if the pitch changes that should be rectified using command system so it is necessary to t- able to track satellite movement satellite's movement and send correction signals as required so we should track that one if it is not in a particular expected position we should able to give the correction signals as we require thank you